Hi, I'm Rob from Hobson. Thanks for joining me live here on location at the Triangle in Shipley. This is a place owned by a good friend of mine, Gavin, um, but I work here um, mostly two Sundays a month. It's the start of my shift, it's usually pretty quiet. I got my initial jobs done, so I thought I'd be mean to do this for ages. Give you a little bit of a walk around the Triangle and kind of like give you an idea of what's going on here. See you in a minute. So here we are outside. It's uh, probably a little bit noisy, a bit windy today. But as you can see, we're on the on the kind of on Bradford Road at this point. It's a pretty major road. Little, little um, line of shops, chippy down there. <laughs> the chippy down there. A variety of little kind of like independent retails here. A little outdoor space. We've, just, we've had this for about a year now. Fantastic. It's really lovely and sunny here. So there you go. Here we go. Let's go in. Right, so be prepared for quite a lot of beer in quite a relatively small space, I mean. So the first thing you see when you arrive. I hope this audio is okay, I'm doing this through my headset. So yeah, we've got this fantastic new kind of unit here, which was built about, maybe about about six months ago now. So we've got, yeah, we are, we are a beer shop primarily, but we do also have a fantastic selection of natural wines as well. So you've got kind of red, reds, whites and... Um, some orange as well. I like an orange, I like an orange wine. But also we've got, this is a lot of where the kind of sharers exist. So you've got, and this is one thing that will re <laughs> reoccur. We've got a lot of Lambic. It's uh, a passion of, uh, of Gavin, of the owner. It's, um, I won't show you the cellar, that's, that's for, for <laughs> uh, paying customers only. But we've got a ridiculous selection of lamb Lambics. But you will see a combination of like, yeah, Lambics and kind of sharers. So you've got some Sierra Nevada stuff. Got a bit more wine up there as well. Some Jester King, loads of Drifon Sign, and some big um, bottles of assemblage. Two and three, yes, two years of assemblage from Burning Sky. A mm, bit more wine, a bit more wine. What we've got, and then down the bottom, we've got some of the kind of kind of special editions from Cloudwater. Get some of a move as well. Lovely, lovely in the summer. Get a nice bottle of a move. There you go, and some kind of cascade. So, you, as you will see, lots of uh, lots of dark beers and lots of sours. And then this is the, so this bit pulls out. So that, that pulls out. And you can do all sorts in there, but you know, at the moment it's using the central section. There's a, a, additional um, um, shelving. So we've got some kind of lots of stouts primarily, in here, but you've got some overspill whatever, <laughs> because we've just got so much beer. Some more Jester King there. Some mega fancy Jester King. Look at that shit. That's fancy, fancy Jessica King stuff. But then, yeah, loads of stouts. As you'll see we've got an amazing stout selection. Loads of Palo, some stuff from Brazil. I've not had any there. Five Elementos. Hopefully, no one comes in while I'm doing this. It's usually pretty quiet on Sunday to start off with. Yeah, some more, some Yonder, some Burning Sky. No, no, there's some um, Stress down the bottom. This, uh, the first fridge, what you come to. Always oh, a popular one, as you can see. It's me, hey. Because we sell a load of an alcoholic beer, we've usually got probably double of this amount. And the Brulo stuff seems to be really popular. A bit of cider, and you know, you slightly more fancy cider. Can you see that? Let me open the, let me open the door. There you go. The Breton stuff is a bit of a staple. Holds a um, for holds a fond place in Gavs out, so. Uh, and then some more fancy stuff from kind of little Pomona. Right. Bit before we get into the fridges. Just give you a little kind of shifty on the this little wall of dark beer really. We've got some Jackie O's and some kind of vintage stuff from Siren. Then we we sell a lot of dark beer. And we've got an amazing race. So is it Puhasta? From are they? Where are they from? Are they from like Estonia, I think. Some Buxton. A big a big one, as as we are now, uh, an ambassador for uh, Piala. Piala's always it's really well priced as Piala, it's absolutely incredible. We've always got a good range of Piala. Always got a good range from Nerd. We've got some uh, what else we've got down the bottom there? Some Sori and there's some bits down there from Wild, Equilibrium, De Morland. We used to have a lot of De Morland, but um, maybe the brew the ones were, but yeah, a bit more, a bit of tall. So let's go on to the fridges. We've got the back end, we, we, we sold it. We sold all these, so we did have some of the half. But so tail end, you'll always find you can have a healthy selection of um, stuff from uh, Omnipolo here as well. I mean, he's always got a lot of the Biancas in. 
Then you sort of look and you kind of, what else we got in there? So look, tail ends of some Sierra Nevada, Yala, Oscar Blues, more American stuff, Alakash, um, a bit more Sierra Nevada back down, what we got down here. Looks better if I open it up, so back up to the top. Back end of the um, Mortalis stuff, that flew out, and uh, some Finback, more Omnipolo, you, uh, it's more stamps from, I mean, stamps mainly in the bottles, but you do get a fair few in cans. So, so Three Hills, but down here. So, Moth has stuff. Yeah, some crazy st stuff there. I mean, so Elm 11, which is the kind of um, fruit and sour stuff done by the guys at Behind Nerd. And Van Bobson, and my funky stuff from America, Trillium, Firestone Walker, Jolly Pumpkin, Cookie Stave. Next ones. <clears throat> We've got key um case, always very popular. And that you can't go wrong with that. 499 for the export port is just ridiculous. Yes, yeah, so a bit of Lervig and some Mr. Birgits. A bit of Belgian stuff now, some more classic stuff. You can see the the Rochefort, Terrace Bobo, Triple Calmier, Duchess. So it's selling a good amount of Duchess, really do. Um, comprehensive range of um, um, the shoe stuff of Kevin and got some lagers. But, oh, you, you usually get absolutely rinsed on the lagers. Okay, it's always really popular. So we always got tags. Uh, this um, guy singer. That's a new one on me. Um, so we've got lots of rest of the lagers down there. Always got Augustina in. Andrex. Shonorama, I really like that. Then you go a bit more, a bit more kind of lambic -y stuff in there. It's got some Tilquin, some Boone. Lindemans, I mean, every bottle shop's going to have some, <laughs> some creaking for Ambas. It's always really popular. Some of the bits and bats there. Some Kiala, some Wipe and True. Some crazy blended wine barrel thing. Um, they've got uh, an extending popularity of kind of, uh, the kind of more pastry sounds as well. The funky fluid stuff is well priced. It's just madness as well. Um, the Mers Little, we go we often got theirs in, usually got a few more, but I mean, you know, rotate these things. Uh, so, Vinirazki Hills up there as well, very good stuff. Give you a little shifty at the top up here. A little box from the Tour de Gers. We've got um, the uh, Caribbean chocolate cake, some of the most sharers there. There we go, more, some wild stuff, some Brooklyn, some. Fancy stuff from Lervig, those things, those stouts from Lervig are just absolutely sensational. Some more Belgian and some bits and bats. Zoom back, and see if not, I might have to dust the top of there. <laughs> yeah, some more bits and bats there. Right, <clears throat> next bit, we kind of primarily British stuff in these next two fridges. So, up here, we've got some Buxton. Buxton's have always been a firm favourite here. Glass House does well, got some um, stuff from Azvex, telling uh, some stuff from Siren. Kernel sells well, we usually got a bit, lot more kernel than that, but you I mean, you get big orders and then we work the way through some holy goat stuff. What have we got up here? <clears throat> another another favourite in the shop is Burning Sky. Got a full range um, of kind of a new, new set of variants of IPAs, I guess you've got the New, a new one for me there as well, Bullhouse from, from Ireland, I've never heard of them before. Burnt Mill, through by numbers. Tail end of some, some bits from here, sure shot, there's primarily sold out bits of pressure drops and nothing around. Um, always got a good amount of Bolt City, I think we're kind of like official distributor for Bolt City as well, so full set of them. Some bottles of the slightly stronger stuff, so that's that. So, um, last of the fridges, <laughs> once again I told you, this is this, what you've seen Lambic wise is um, tip of the iceberg. If you're interested in Lambic, go on the website, we've got Cantillon, loads of Drief on Titan, <coughs> yeah, new batch of stuff from Tilquin up there, but we, yeah, go on the website, and um, which is shiplytriangle.com, I think. Yeah, if you're into Lambics, definitely check out the website. We have got a ridiculous Lambic selection. Stuff that probably don't exist in a lot of other places, especially in this country. 
Always got a good relationship with you know, local brewers, so Northern Monk, always here. Um, clearly people have been dr drinking all the beak, as they as they should, so we've got just telling some stuff in the beak there. And go down here, cloud water, often found as well. Some wilds and just some kind of tail ends of some Kimona and your bands. Ab's always popular, it's a good price isn't it? We're in Yorkshire, big cans, good prices. That's what people want in it. <clears throat> Small North Monk. You always get the, we get pretty much everything from North Monk to be honest. You get the you know, old facts and stuff and all the specials. Track, you got to have track aren't you? One of the best around, always do well. <clears throat> it's not that I ain't replaced that can, it's just been that's all we've got left. <laughs> Polly's, once again, another, another popular one. Good, good price of Polly's, isn't it? Good price. Verdant, new, old, new, full new range from Verdant. And some, um, often got a lot of day but we've fairly been, um, been uh, cleared out on the day as well. Got some and a bit of Rivington knocking around there. So if you do come in on a Sunday, when I'm here, this is about pretty much where you find me. Here you go. Some bits of, some, soft, some soft drinks need to we place that as well. We sell cheese, some of the best cheese you'll ever have from the courtyard dairy. It's absolutely incredible. It's got a pretty impressive range. On a kind of replenish on a regular basis, some fantastic stuff. Yeah, just let me kind of stand back and give you a little bit of this is where you'll find me. It's fantastic, isn't it? It looks great. So this is this is where you'll find find me. You've got plain spirits, it's got a load of kind of <laughs> posh cider as well there. But yeah, got an impressive range of um, spirits as well for a, for a beer shop. But you can drink in, and that, that's what I'm going to show you now. So on tap, oh, I'll show you this first. So we do. We've got wet. We've got wine on cake. So we've got a, always got a red and a white on. Got the we do the fruity fruity style cherry wine as well. And then this is the the draft lineup at the moment. So here we've got um, track and overtones gold top. Uh, um, what's it called? I'm home. <laughs> Gold top. I'm home. Is that what it's called? Yeah, it's crazy. Part of the kind of mashups selection. Hudson Valley, uh, multi chorus, sour IPA, with vanilla and chocolate. It doesn't sound like it work, should work, but it does. It's, it's funny. It tastes a bit like uh, I said, um, uh, apricot jam on on a chocolate croissant, and then yeah, and and, and Tilkin Girls on draft no less. They're all very respectable prices and so on for what that kind of thing is. So yeah, this is where you'll be. Um, if you pop in one Sunday, you never know, you might see your favourite beer tuber <laughs> here, but if not, this is what you'll get if you come and see, see us here at the Triangle. We've got a lot of beer, come and buy some. Anyway, I'm Rob from Hop Team. See you next time. Cheers.